Good day, Lords and Ladies, and welcome back to Pillars of Eternity with me, Cornish, tonight as we press on with the game. Now we've cleared up everything to get up to Durgan's battery, so we are going to head back say the word. to the village. That's Russet Wood. That's all the way down to Stalwart Village, is it? Okay, so we we'll speed up time. So we can get this this story on the go. It's going to be interesting since we're going back with a convicted murderer, but still. It should be fun to see. Lay hours to get the stalwart. I think I'd miss this place. Had that much right. Right, okay. So, it's night time. Oh, we can talk to Excellent. Let's talk to her quickly then. Village was a touch livelier when I saw it last. Ain't saying much though. The head swivels as he looks around. What do you remember about stalwart? Bitter cold and a persistent odor of fish. Now that were just the people. Why did you want to come back anyway? Anything's better than Galvino's workshop. You ain't heard the old buzzard sing. She turns away again. Anyway, what about you? We've seen lots coming through, trying to crack the battery, but no watchers. She looks back at you, her black eyes glittering. Stalwart needed help. I got my eyes on the treasure of Durgan's battery. Another group that passed through before me. I need to know what they were after. Let's go with that one. Ah, looking for someone. That's a familiar yarn. She nods slowly, rocking her head on a broad, steady shoulders. But don't let me keep you from the sights and sounds of Stalwart. They're easy to miss. She rests her head on her hips and turns to look around. Let me ask you something else. Okay, that's all. Yeah? The fishery should be down here. This is part of it, right? Is that it? Fisherman's penance. Fisherman's penance. Gavino holds a grudge against Gunnard. Stalwart head fisherman. He wants me to expose Gunnard. Ripple sponge addiction to the rest of the town. Search the fishery at night. Right, okay. Keep an eye on the Devil of Korak. Right, 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 right. The Reclusive White Marts. Right. We need to get Just in. Say the word. Still night time, so okay. Once we get him, we'll ransack the place looking for the thing we need to find. Oils. Ah, oh, the bracelet. This bracelet is compromised a small interweaving bead and is held together by a fine silver cloth. Together the beads form a stylized image of a mountain peak. Okay. You reach into the barrel and find a bracelet. A thick aura of essence clings to it, fresh with memory. You feel yourself drawn into it. In the memory, you stride into the fissure. The floors are swept clean, but the wood is still splotted with snow melt and fist guts. A man hunkers in the corner, his head nodding forward as he sleeps. He looks up drowsy as you approach. It's Gunnard. His face is useful with sallow. His hair hangs in stringy locks. You feel a pang of anger and pit at your brother's debauchery. Arda. Oh, no. His voice is little more than a croak. It's past midnight. Your throat feels tight. Your throat feels tight. Gunnard wipes at his wipes at his nose, but examines the mingled the mangled blood and powder on the back of his hand. He shrugs. 
Your fingers clench around coarse, f thick fabric, your, your father's best woolen cloak tucked under your arm. Go! To raid Ceres, or Defiance Bay, or fucking Air Glonfoth, I don't care! You hurl it at the ingrate, huddled on the floor. He picks up the cloak and looks at it with a small sort of dull wonder. He wipes his nose on the, la on the la lanning. A sudden rust of fury leaves your limbs weak and raw. I'll tell them. Mayor Cena he ain't. The neighbors, everyone. You force your words through your teeth. But what? He mumbles, churning his words from a, a morass of snot and saliva. The stealing. You think I haven't noticed the money missing from the fishery coffers? Or heard Tana talk about losing a golden duke? See, you whisper, afraid even now that someone will overhear you and the words scorch your throat. You can't be found when there's work to do. But every time those merchant wagons roll into town, you've got coin enough for a few bags of ripple sponge. No, it's not. He rubs his red-rimmed eyes. Your own grow warm and blurry. Stalwart tolerates your sponge habit, but they won't abide your thieving. You touch your brace to the gift from Mother, plucking at the beads. You won't. He rises steady to his feet. Then you would f would have uh, steadier to his feet than you would have have fought. I will. You stride towards him. I would have, I wouldn't have saved Mother and Father while they were living, but I won't let this keep up. Your anger swallows the last of your pity, anger at him for putting you into this position, for doubt for doubting your resolve, for failing to see. You're close enough to smell his stale, sour breath when he pushes you. You fall, watching, with widen, watching his eyes widen and the ceiling spinning into your vision. This, is, this isn't just like this isn't this just like him, gurnered with his foul tantrums, never thinking of anybody but himself. And now you're going to be nursing a headache for weeks. Just goes to show you can't help some people, but you remember him too. Your baby brother running through the snow, slipping, falling on the ice, and you slipping, falling. And there's a table behind you, but it shouldn't. The memory ends abruptly, jolting you back into the present, with your heart hammering and your palms sweaty. Gurnard, the fishery dock, the, fis the fishery doors crack open, and Min walks Gurnard, staring at you, and the brace in surprise and outrage, his face drained of colour. You take shelter in our village and then ransack it like a common thief. You'd better explain yourself. Galvino told, told me you were a rippled sponge addict. Seems you're much more than that. Any who put stock in the ravings of that bitter old fool deserve all the trouble they get. He raises his voice, half turning to the guard with him. You killed your sister, Arda, right here in this room. He opens his mouth to reply, but the words catch in his throat. The guard next to him stares at the bracelet, recognizing, recognizing turning to horror. So her jaws hangs, awestruck. Such brilliant shade of agony. What fortune we are, what fortune we are blessed with today. Quickly, what can we do to sharpen the pain? It was an accident. I was a failure and a wretch then. But I, I never would have killed anyone. Least of all my own kin. He turns his gaze, then offering a polity to his own clenched fist. What do you mean? Say nothing, listen. How can you expect me to believe something like that? Of course you'd say that everyone in your anyone in your position would. Say nothing and listen. I gave her body to the lake, but I kept her bracelet to remember the cost of my own weakness. He loosens his hand and stares at the emptiness in his leather palms. I ain't asking for forgiveness. I know I don't deserve any. My penance is my work on behalf of the village, and they need it truly. I know you've got powerful ideas about right and wrong. I'm asking you to let me go. For Stalwart's sake, not mine. Let me do the work Arda would have done. That's my debt to Stalwart, and the only fitting way to honor my sister. Oh, this is a hard decision. Pay me in the bracelet as yours. Uh, toss in the bracelet very well. Here, take the bracelet. The thing is, like, he regrets it. But still, vengeance. Um, ah, let's go. Pay me the bracelet is yours. He shivers with disgust, but recovers himself. Fine. I trust this will be enough. Thank you for your compromise. 
Now, I expect we're finished with this. Fisherman's Penance. Let's see. We done with it, Fisherman's Penance. Galvina would be disappointed. Yeah, well. Yeah. Hasn't affected anything like that. Just say the word. Yeah, I mean, I could have sort of probably cut him down on this floor, but at the end of the day, he's trying to change his ways, even if he's an idiot about it. So he gets to pay his way out of the problem. Right, how do we wake it? We've got some other things, so we need to wake in some memories. Take it back to Galvino. Right, yo, let's get in here quickly. Right. Right, so we're inside. Where is the person we need to confront? The drug dealer. Farah, there we go. You look like you've been in the wilds. You see my wagon out there? I know you're smuggling Seth, Farah. Shh. Keep it down, will you? She looks from side to side. Look, you seem forthright, but I couldn't just announce my business, could I? Even you've got to understand that. I'm just trying to get out of town before some ogre or fishman or starving snow-addled hunter sticks a blade in my gut. More important, I gotta make good of my deal with the supplier. Ain't someone I'm eager to disappoint. Uh, I, why would I, I'm not the kind of person that kills smugglers, fair enough, take your I'll take your award and Person, I'm, I'm honest for a start. Um, I won't help you, Pedipur, give me a quick trade. That's not something she would do. Fine, but I went in on the deal. F uh, fair enough, I take your award, then. Here, as promised. Thanks again. With a little luck, I'll trade these blizzards in for a sea breeze soon enough. Right. That's done. What's this? Still a stone, reward, 15% XP, 5 mossy rock, 100 foot of the cup and treasure, minor item. Apollix farmers in Ixima plains cover a large and elaborate ring of small adra pillars in the secluded southern valley. Though presumed to be connected to the Afwafans in some way, these pillars did not appear to be connected or in any ruins. However, since the site was discovered, farmers from about 50 miles away had gone missing, eventually discovered days or weeks later in the ring of stones, permanently petrified. As the up her hill, have little experience with adds of pillars. They call upon Red Saras, Dear Woody, and Glam Fafans for help. Who do you want to give them? Uh, Glam Fafans, give them him. Right, go. Right, okay, we got rid of that. Okay, so how do we awaken memories in people? I hit a fine space, got hit pretty hard, but Legacy wonder if it's as bad as if we've got it. Okay. Um, right, how do we do this? Recluse of the White Marts. According to Galvina, if I enter during this battle, I need a, a can tech. Can tech a poem of the dwarves. However, Galvina suggested that the store may contain sole descendants of those dwarves, given in my abilities. They won't be hard to find. They could learn the cantic by awakening one of their souls, but it'd be doomed someone to a fate like mine or male worlds. Okay. I have to find someone then who can do it. Who would it be? The villager, perhaps? Who are we supposed to basically talk to about this? The bard? Perhaps? No. Hmm. He 
him. So you're back. What can I do for you? Read his soul. The snowy path peels away, and the brisk air waves you, gives way to the acid stench of smoke. A, a dark cloud billows up the room from a moment of burning house at the far edge of a rocky field. You are low to the ground, held in place, and above you, the wind tugs embers back and forth like firebugs. Not so brave now, are you? The vision in your left eye is cleared, is clouded, such that the figure standing over you is of over you is a collection of rough smears of black cast silhouettes by fire. A dark shape swings towards your face and the subsequent burst of agony jars you out of the memory and back into your own skin. You've got to look at someone who... You've got that look of someone who's got had their teeth around the secret. Her cold fingers are locked around your arm. Her black eye searches you. Glad I'm not the only one who knows not to trust your kind, Watcher. You do well not to trust hers. What? Did I spill something on myself? Renafold looks down his clothing. Leave. Farewell. Just say the word. I suppose it's gonna be named people then. I'm still looking for someone to take care of those dangerous folk roaming the area if you're up to it. Milt, so the sister of the slack skull is dead. He grins. Kind of ironic, isn't it? She went around killing people for Baraf, and in the end, that's... Whoa, oh, never mind. Just take the bounty. If I see you a bag of rattles of coin. Eh, got a good amount. And we got level ups. And we got a thing. Devil of Coin wants to talk to you. I didn't think there was anything more in the lice and hoarfrost to these folk, but you had a look back there. What do you find when you're rooting around like that? The fabric of a soul, things I'd, I'd rather not see, nothing important, usually somebody else's bad choices. First, tell me the real reason you want to follow me to stall what? Mayhap I'm looking for someone. Woodcutter, by the name of Harmka. It doesn't have anything to do with cold morn, does it? It sure does. Her fingers tight into fists, metal squealing and rattling. He was one of them. The mob that destroyed cold morn. I tracked him to Stalwart years ago, but got caught before I could finish my business. Dark. Iridescent hole, hollows appear and fade in her chest panel. Heart heat ripples from her metacarapace. You want me to help you murder someone? It's been 15 years and you're still after him. It's, it's, been, 15, it's been 15 years and you're still after him. We all gotta have something that gets us out of bed in the morning. A note of cured fury buzzes within her. This man, Harmka. I saw him outside my house the night it burned, staring into the flames the way I seen you stare into souls. The fence cl her fist clenches and loosens in a series of rapid, random movements. I knew it were a fool's errand trying to hunt down every man and woman that carried a torch into cold morn, but I... She, t her, she twists her head from side to side and holds up a hand, deliberately engraved pummel, emptied but grasping at something. If I knew I got the one responsible for my kin and my hearth, I might could rest easy. How, um, how can you be so sore with this Harkham fellow? I took a good long look that night. Ours was a little place with a yellow door, right on the edge of town. He was there. He nods slowly. She nods slowly. Besides, I asked around when I first got to Stalwart. Townsfolk said that all the woodcutters in town took part in the purge. Point of pride for them. What does this have to do with me? I told you he was part of the mob. I spotted him watching my house when it burned. But when we find him, I want to know if he's the one responsible for my home, my parents, and my brothers and sister. One of her thumbs rubs absently at the scratch on her head. I never thought I'd have the chance to know for sure. But you could look into his soul and find out. You being a watcher and all. I'll do what I can. Mighty fine of you. Mighty fine indeed. She nods again, her hob head bobbing along in drowsy ca cadence. Don't know where he dallies these days, but someone in Stalwart could tell us. People from little villages, they always know. That's all. Right, so, tax collector, you lost 147 to banditry. Earl took 80 and you've earned 400 and something. The one that got away. The trips to Axa Plains was largely uneventful, but Hevels discovered a, gri a grisly sight upon arriving at the Stone Circle. Over 50 locusts had been permanently petrified amongst the stones. It took a few days of investigations, but Hevels learned that the, ab the, the abduct um, abductions all happened at a specific time of night and in a pattern for miles around the stones. 
with assistance of a few upper hillo mathematicians and philosophers, Hero Fervas was able to expose to killer an extremely powerful Adrigan, Adragan that had been protecting the Adversary for centuries. When Kif discovered the secret place, he began systematically stalking and petrifying anyone who lived within the walking distance of the site. Hero Fervas led a protracted battle against the creature with the help of the locals. We got Moss Rock. This curious rock can be used to summon a swamp lurker for once. Okay. Got that. All, we've got that quest as well, so that's all in the main hall. This is going to take us ages to do. We've got level ups. We take care of these level ups quickly as well. Right, so. Um. Athletics, okay. I'm probably going to bump up my law again. Because it's useful. What do we want to want? Inspiring truth. Command and ally to summon all their strength. Friendly target. Hostile effects suspended for 20 seconds. That's not bad. Zealous charge. That's a, so that's a, um. That's a mode. Deprive the unworthy. Beneficial effects suspended. I guess of loyalty to passive. This is good against people who have mind control, reinforcing exhortation, allied target, plus 25 deflection for 23 seconds. Very nice. Zeal endurance is a mode. Coordinate attacks. Righteous soul. That'd be quite nice. Because this resists like charm, dominant, fright, and terrified. Hastening, exhortation, free per rest, healing chain. Right, what do I want? Reinforcing, that'd be quite nice. Uh, rest is not something, I don't like ones that are rest related. They're more powerful, but they're not, they're not as usable, because obviously they take more rest. Defense against charm, this, um, defense against charm is very nice. Coordinated attacks. They're attacking the same target. That's actually quite nice. Coordinated attacks. We'll go with. Um, there's one also. There's the one that basically. Which one was it? There was one around here that basically got rid of. Yeah. Argus of loyalty. So if we do something against mind control, this will basically stop them attacking us and we can disable it quite quickly, which is nice. I might just take that. I don't know. That could be useful. Defense is always good. Coordinated attacks tend, tend to actually, that would be really useful. I might take Argus of Loyalty. But that's very specific. I take that as, as a safeguard, to be honest. The other two are useful, but if they, can we get something that's dominated, we can just pop someone of minimum damage and it'll wake them back up, which is really good. But it's uh, it's very specific. That's the only problem I have. That's all charm stuff. Uh, no, pass effect. That's they already have been like hit. And that's the problem is a lot of these are very specific. And that's not too bad. Healing chain is not too bad actually. Make sure people are healed. You can never have too much healing magic. Actually, I will take the healing chain. Just because healing is so important in this game. Right. Get that person. Get their lore up. Which is good. Save the rest of the levels. He gets two spells. Okay. 
at level six. So let's see. Is there any at like level five we want? Let's go to level six spells. Arcane Reflex and Alchemy. Cuspicious Hex, Chain Lightning. Is that Death Ring? Cause a black ring of no critical energy into being. It spreads out in all directions, causing corroded corrode damage to an enemy if it touches and permanently destroying those with law endurance. Not bad. Freezing Pillar. Cause down a normal spike of energy causing freeze damage on enemies in the area of the effect and creating an intense circle of frost that can hobble foes in its touch. Martial powers, cast temporary sacrifice arcane power for martial might. No, I'm not, I'm not a fan of that one to be honest, Chain Lightning. Cuspicious Hex, unleashes a volatile hex upon enemies in the area of effect causing them to become either day, sickened or paralyzed depending on their, your mystery, mysterious whims. Arcane Reflection, creates a, a field of energy around the caster, reflecting hostile target spells up to 5th level back at the caster. That's quite useful actually. I might grab these two. Chain Lightning is nice, but I might grab these two. And we get an additional 2nd level spell, or 1st level, if we want. But we can't put it into the books, that's the problem. Once per encounter. Oh, I see. Wizard's Masters. So we can go one of these, one of these ones to um, infuse the caster with vitality, giving them temporary increase to maximum endurance. Eh. So this would give us a free spell, which would be useful. Leave people dazed. Oil Slick as a free thing might be really nice, actually, because I can use it in combination with other spells. Yeah, let's take oil slick. Coast to ground the slick oil like substance inflicting knockdown on anyone in the area. Which is useful. We can just do straight up flames, dizziness. Uh necrotic lance isn't too bad. But slick would be no useful for knocking out powerful people and it's as a free spell it'd be beneficial. So I could take it out of my spell book and have something else. Yeah, let's go oil slick. So basically now he has that. Here's that. That, that. Oil slick is useful. Um, Because then we can do stuff like set it on fire. He's leveled up as well. Let's see, he's got eight. Boost up his athletics. He's got one thing we can pick up amongst abilities. Swift strike. Requires one ruined instant attack speed for ten increased attack speed for ten seconds. Passive burn damage per wound. Movement speed. Let's see if there's any good passive. Monk gains temporary insight through endurance, gaining a temporary bonus to fortitude reflex and will whenever a hostile effect expires. Energizing blows. Um, by targeting critical points, the monk is able to inflict physical weaknesses. Melee critical hits cause the target to become weakened. The long pain requires two wounds. Plus one damage reduction per wound, flagrant path, requires three wounds, clarity of agony, soul mirror. Hmm, that means we can reflect damage back. Damage reduction is always useful, but that requires him to get wounds. What are we going to take? Yeah, let's take Crucible of the Suffering. Just 
just go through these quickly. Mechanics. Get his up to 10. Or get it to 9. So he gets either one level spell. A free use. So it's another free use. Okay. That's useful. Still doubt. Traps and scups. Sometimes kind of tea. Reducing speed of all enemies in the area. That'd be nice. Restoring light endurance. Uh, area of effect. 2.2 .2 meter radiance. Suppress of fixions. Spend hostile status effects on allies in the area of effect. That'd be useful. Prayer against infamy. Sickened and weakened afflictions. Holy power. Consecrated ground. I'll get consecrated ground because that's basically... Uh, it's only like 11 endurance over 1.4 seconds. Oh, over one point. Oh, that actually is, and that duration is um, twenty-seven seconds. That's actually really good. I'll grab that. Right, and the last person left is the barbarian. Mechanical survival law. Get her athletics up because he needs it. Save the rest. Barbarian's abilities. We could go frenzy once per encounter. Sends the barbarian to a frenzied sta state, granting might, constitution, and attack speed bonus by causing deflection penalty against incoming attacks. Blooded. Passive. 25 da damage. Sent damage when endurance is below 50%. Brute force. Attack fortitude instead of a deflection is if fortitude is lower. It's wild sprint. Mm. Fitting peasants passive. Uh, error of effect. Radius from caster. No presence becomes so intimidating that to fill the air of the number of enemies with nauseating dread as long as the barbarian is stationary, nearby enemies may be sickened. Blood lasts. When she kills more people, it basically means she attacks quicker, vengeful, defeat. Exalts a final revenge when the barbarian reduced to zero endurance, causing him or her to perform instant carnage full attack on anyone in the range. Not bad. Heart of Fury, once per encounter, melee only. Um, each quick weapon attack every nearby enemy, doing extra damage, inflicting carnage, if applicable. That's quite cool, actually. Blood first. After killing an enemy, the barbarian recovers, recovery is waived, allowing them to attack again immediately, so they can chain attacks. So I have the Storm. Cannot be engaged by enemies more than one level below themselves. Oh, that's not bad. Heart of Fury isn't too bad. That's only once per encounter. Yeah, we go with the Heart of Fury. It sounds cool. Right, so everybody's finished. Just say the word. And that's taken us a bit of time, so it's when we're going to end for today, Lord and If you have liked, please press the like button. If you wish to subscribe, please press the subscription button. You can follow me on Twitter, you can follow me on Steam, or you can leave a comment in the comment section and I'll get back in contact with you. I've been Cornus Knight, this has been Pillars of Eternity, and I shall see you all next time, folks, for the next episode of Gwen Ravenheart and Space Pig. Goodbye!